Howdy, this is Sailor the Piper Man, Piper the Sailor Man, coming to you this morning. The day that the Creator made, the heavens and the earth. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, I want to talk about pipes in poetry, or poem pipes, or however you want to call it. I decided, at least once a week, I'm going to read a poem, and if I can't find a poem, I'm going to make a poem, a pipe smoking. I'm collect poet. I, I've always been a poet. I just never wrote our pipes, and so that's what I'm going to do. I wrote a couple of pipe poems when I was at Yosemite. I've been there a couple of times. Hopefully, I can make it one day again. It's a wonderful experience to smoke your pipe in the open outdoors. And so I want to read, first of all, of this gentleman named Robert Service. That's his name, Robert Service. This is the picture of him, Robert Service. Cap looks nice, right? I want to read a little of his biography. I'll read a little bit of his biography, then I'll read his poem. His actual name is Robert William Service. He was born January 16, 1874. I gotta light my pipe. So Robert William Service was born 18 on uh, January 16, 18, 1874, Preston, Lancaster, England, and he died at the age of 84, September the 11th, 1958. Uh, wow, a couple of months. Before uh, a year before I was born, he says died. Le Croix, Le Croix, the Côte de Armes, France. Occupation: He was a writer, poet, Canadian, Great North adventurer. He went to a high school in Glasgow, University of Glasgow, uh, McGill University. He studied poetry and novel. Notable work songs of Saldo, Rhymes of the Red Cross, The Trail of 1998. His parents were Robert Service. His, his mother was Sarah Emily Park. So here's what it says. Um, September 11, 1958, was a British-Canadian poet, <clears throat> writer, who has often been called the Bart of the Yukon. He's best known for his poems, The Shooting of Dan McGrew, The Cremation of Sam McGee, from his first book, Songs of the Sardo, his vivid descriptions of the Yukon and its people made it seem that he was a veteran of the Klondike Gold Rush. You know, it was a gold rush also in, in Canada. Instead of the late arriving bank clerk he was, although his work remains popular, services poem were initially received as being cruelly comical works but he became a wealthy author. He became a wealthy author and lived very comfortably on the proceedings of his writing. You never heard of him? Right? I'm going to read to you his poem now.
his poem is called The Pipe Smoker. Because of the love, okay, let me get it again. Because I love the soothing weed and am of sober type, I choose me for a friend in need, a man who smokes a pipe. A coal who hasn't much to say and spits fire, spits into the fire, puffing like me a pipe of clay, corn cobble briar. A chap original of thought with cheery point of view, who has a gumption quite a lot and streaks of humor too. He needs not be whisk a whiskered sage with wisdom overripe. Just give me an old, give me in old age a pal who smokes a pipe. <laughs> a cigarette may make for a wit. Although I like it not, a good cigar, I must admit, gives dignity to thought. But as my glass of grog I sip, I never, never gripe. If I have for companionship a guy who smokes a pipe. <laughs> Robert Williams Service, he wrote that. It's wonderful. He's found at internetporn.com. Let me see if I can read another one. They got some... I'm trying to find. Really, really interesting that you can pipe can cause one to write poetry, right? Interesting. A woman writes this. Her name Stephan Stephanie Malar Malarmi. Stephanie Malarmi. I don't know if it's a man or woman. But here it goes. This this poem is called The Pipe. Yesterday I found my pipe while pondering a long evening of work, of fine winter work. Thrown aside were my cigarettes with all the childish joys of summer into the past which the leaves shining blue in the sun, the Muslims illuminate and taking up once again was the grave pipe of a serious man who wants to smoke for a while, for a long while, while without being disturbed so as better to work. But I was not prepared for the surprise that this abandoned object had in store for me. For hardly had I drawn the first puff when I forgot the grand books I was planning to write and amazed and moved to a feeling of tenderness. I breathed in the air of previous winter, which was now coming back to me. I had not been in contact with my faithful sweetheart since returning to France, and now all of London, yes, all of London, London, as I have lived it a year ago entirely alone, appearing before my eyes, first the dear fogs that muffle one's brain and have an odor of their own. There, when they, they penetrate beneath the casements, my tobacco had the scent of a somber room with leather furnishings sprinkled by cold dust on which the thin black cat will curl and stretch the big fires and the maid with red arms pouring coals and the noise of those coals falling from the sheet iron bucket 
into the iron scuttle in the morning. When the postman gave the solemn double knock that keeps me alive, I once again I saw through the windows those sickly trees of the deserted square. I saw the open sea cross so often that winter shivering on the deck of the steamer went with drizzle and blackened from the fumes with my poor wandering beloved decked out traveler's clothes. A long dress dull as the dust of the roads, a coat clinging, dampling to her cold shoulders. One of those straw hats with no feathers and hardly any ribbons with wealthy ladies throw away upon arrival, mangling as they are by the sea. And that poor loved one refurbished for many other seasons. Around her neck was wounded the terrible handkerchief that one waves when saying goodbye forever. Okay? Obviously when she smoked a pipe, they made her think about a lot of different things in her life. So that's pretty cool. Her name is Stefani Ma Malalim. So, there you go. Now I'm going to make my own poem right now, instinctively. All right? Here you go. I pick up my matches to start the day. I pick up my pipe. I draw the fire of desire into this straight Canadian pipe. You're reminding me the simplicity that I don't have to fight. The easy draw of my barren Virginia. Tingles my mouth with sweetness of Virginia barley. As I continue to smoke and I continue to ponder the great sun up there yonder, I'm reminded of the wonderful friends that I meet every day. Other pipe cook smokers join me this day <laughs> well that's my first my first poem and uh let's see what you can come up with if you guys like poetry like i do it'd be nice to hear your poems well this is Sailor the piper man piper the sailor man once again with poetry pipe poetry